Hi, I'm Manga Captor, and welcome to another unboxing video. This one's gonna be different because it's a chatty unboxing video rather than an ASMR one. These first clips I'm doing a voiceover for because I had originally recorded this video intending for it to be an ASMR video, but I did a poll and lots of you guys wanted a chatty video, so here we are. This first package comes from Mercari. I love buying used manga specifically on Mercari because you can get some great deals. And here you can see that it's Rohan at the Loop. I'm not going to try to pronounce it the French way because I would totally butcher it. This is one that I'm really excited to read this October. I'm trying my best to read and engage with as much media as possible that's like spooky and October feeling. And this one definitely fits the category. I already have the Spoke Rohan Kishibi in my collection, so this completes my collection for Rohan spin-offs. I don't think there are any more, I could be wrong, but this one is a great hardcover. I think it's actually my only hardcover manga. I was also surprised by the paper size, or I should just say the book size. I didn't look into the dimensions, I just saw that it was Rohan and I was like, okay, I need to have it. I also didn't realize that it's full color. So this is also probably my only full color manga, which is really exciting. I think the paper quality is great. It's nice and glossy, which I really like. Also, can we just appreciate all of the drama that exists in this art? Like Araki just knows how to really make a picture look so dramatic and the poses that he puts his characters in are just always chef's kiss. Also, as I was flipping through this manga, I just had such a deep appreciation for the color schemes. I love the use of pink and blue. Those are just two colors that always look so good together. They complement and contrast each other so well. And I mean, come on, look at this full page spread. Are you kidding me? I just love all the drama that exists in these two pages. Like, it's just incredible. I'm so happy I got this book and that I'm adding it to my Rohan Kishibi collection. So I've always been really curious to try thrift books. I've heard lots of people say that they're not really good and they don't really package your books properly, and they don't. I mean, this is some floppy packaging, but I really wanted to read Nabari no. And why did I want to read that series? I'm so glad you asked. It's because Yuki Kamatani wrote this series. That's why I'm obsessed with their work, so I have to read everything they've ever written. And here is another one of their series. So I saw that they had volumes one and two in stock, and I was like, this is the perfect opportunity to both read this series and see if Thrift Books is good. And you know, I was kind of impressed with this first one. So this one said it was like new, and I mean, kind of, because I, like the outside was a little bit beat up and a little bit dirty, so it got points removed for that, but I was surprised by how white the pages were. I mean, look, this is like from 2009. It's like, what, what did they do with this manga? I feel like they just locked it away in an airtight box or something and it never saw light and never had humidity or whatever makes it yellow, I don't know. I was pleasantly surprised. I was like, okay, so far so good. I opened up the volume and of course was graced by Yuki Kamatani's beautiful work in full color. This is a great start and look at this, I mean, I, I personally really like the art style, and this series is about ninjas, which, I mean, I'm not super into stories about ninjas, but hey, I also am not into stories about pirates, and I somehow got bamboozled into adoring One Piece. So here we go. So this story follows our main protagonist, this apathetic schoolboy who doesn't realize he possesses, like, a really cool power that is sought after in the ninja clan community world. And he basically, you know, this power awakens and then because of that he gets absorbed into the ninja world because it's like, oh, you have a cool power so we need you to be part of us now. So I believe that this volume said that it was in very good condition, which is not as good as like new. So I thought, okay, it'll be a little worse, but I felt like it was 
a little rough. It had some stickers, it had some like dirt. It was really yellow. It doesn't look as yellow on camera for some reason, but compared to the first one, it was looking mustardy just a bit. But hey, it's from 2009. It's used. It's coming from thrift books, but also like look at that curve. It was unfortunately a little bit bent in the mailbox, so not much you can do about that. When I opened it up, I also noticed like some markings. Maybe it used to be part of a library collection. Although I don't see like any library labels or stickers, I'm not really sure where, why that's there. Maybe it was just crossing off someone's name. It also looks like it was being sold for $3.95 back in 2015. Hey, I kind of wish I got it for that price, but very happy to have this in my collection. And while I was at it, I decided to go ahead and kind of clean up the second volume specifically because it had quite a bit of stains and stickers and stuff and I just wanted to remove that. So I just dipped a Q-tip in some alcohol and used that to clean the book and that worked really well. This was like kind of relaxing. Do you guys like to clean up, spruce up your manga that you get used? Like I kind of like buying used manga for that reason itself. Like obviously I'm buying it to read it, but I also like just sprucing it up. Like I feel like a little like restorer of manga. So if you need to spruce up your manga, like clean up the covers, I'd recommend using rubbing alcohol, dabbing that onto a tissue or a q-tip, and just being very gentle with it, not over saturating it also with rubbing alcohol. Just a little bit goes a long way. And also when it comes to removing stickers, I just remove them very slowly as you can see. And if there is any residue, I clean it up with a q-tip and some rubbing alcohol. So another reason why I really like shopping for manga that is used is because it gets another life. Like it already had an opportunity to sit on someone else's shelf or on a, in a bookstore shelf, but now it gets to be part of my collection and I hand selected it to be part of my collection. And I'm gonna read it and reread it and just admire it. All right, I'm really excited to open this package. I got some used manga and I love getting manga like in stores, but there's something about getting manga online. Well, first of all, it's cheaper, but you get a package to your, deliver to your house or to your place. And that is just like, it's such a great feeling to like get home and there's a package waiting for you. All right, and I should have two volumes that I got. And these are secondhand, so I got them at a great price. Let's see. All right, so I got Yell Metamorphosis. This one I got for like $5, which I think is a great deal. There are like small like dents here and there, but I do not mind as long as all the pages are intact and I can enjoy the story, that's what's important. So I've heard that this one is a story about two people that bond over BL, um, one being a younger character and the other being an older character. So they form like an unlikely friendship. And that just sounds like really sweet and wholesome, so I'm excited to read this one. And here's some of the art. It's got like a bit of an older style to it. It kind of makes me think of Fumi Yoshinaga, which I like her art style. Yeah, I'm very excited to read this. Okay, I am a huge Persona 3 fan. Persona 3 is actually one of my favorite video games. It's between Persona 3 and Persona 5. Um, I like the story of Persona 3 better, um, but I do enjoy the gameplay of Persona 5 more. I recognize that Persona 5 has much better like quality of life things, but Persona 3 just like, I don't know, something about it just really has captured me and I'm just in love with this story and the characters. So when I saw that there was this manga, um, I was like, I have to get it. I have to at least get one volume. I don't know if I'm gonna get all of the volumes because I'm happy just having one in my collection um, since this is a favorite video game of mine. It's like a great way to showcase that on my shelf. But yeah, the artwork looks pretty good. I was, I didn't have high expectations for it to be honest. I really am just like a big Persona 3 fan, 
and I can get suckered into buying anything Persona 3 related, so. And that's it for this small haul. I should have another package coming in, actually two packages from Right Stuff coming in pretty soon. And it's actually going to be my last order ever from Right Stuff since Right Stuff is shutting down. So I'm really excited, but also slightly sad to open my last ever Right Stuff packages uh, pretty soon. So in the next clip, you'll see me unbox what is my last ever Right Stuff order. Okay, so here it is. This is the last Right Stuff order. This is actually box two of two. This is the smallest one, so I'm gonna open this one first. I'm very, very excited about these packages. I'm going to be reading these as soon as I'm done filming this unboxing, because there's a lot of great spooky, like fall type manga in here. So let's open it up. All right. Okay, so it looks like we probably have, I'm guessing these are like two omnibuses. Let's see. All right, so first up I have XXX Holic Omnibus One. Um, I got this one because it totally fits the theme of October reads. Um, this is a clamp series. I've heard that it's really good, but also that the ending is a little bit open-ended or not as satisfying, but hey, the art looks good and I'm just excited to be reading a new clamp series. New to me, at least. All right, and then I wonder what this one is. All right, so this one is actually two. I've got volumes two and three of the Savior's Book Cafe story in another world. Um, I had heard from some people that the paper from volume two is sometimes whiter. I mean, you can tell. I don't really mind about the paper being different. This is just a story that I'm really excited to keep reading. Um, it's so cozy and it's just perfect for the fall. So I'm very excited to read these. Before moving on to the rest of the haul, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about XXX Holic. It's a really hard title for me to say, but it's basically like a supernatural story where there's a high schooler who is able to see spirits that others can't. And so it's something that plagues him and really gets in the way of his life. And I believe that by chance he runs into like this shop where there's a witch who says they can grant wishes and i haven't read this series yet but i'm assuming that he wishes for some type of help in regards to seeing spirits and he basically gets himself into kind of like a contract so he basically starts working for this witch um, as compensation for his wish being granted i think i might be wrong because i haven't read this yet um, and basically like then from there we see like episodic little moments where he's basically doing work for her. So it's like a nice little supernatural series that I think would be so cozy for the fall time and for spooky season. So that's why I got this series and I'm really in love with the art. I think the character designs are just really nice and I'm excited to read this one. And this is it, this is the actual last box um, that I'll ever be opening from Right Stuff. I'm still going to check out like if Crunchyroll like has good deals like Right Stuff did. So future me stepping in real quick, at the time of editing this video, the Right Stuff website now redirects you to Crunchyroll, and from the looks of it, the prices are about the same. You also still get free shipping at $50 for the US. I've never made any purchases on the Crunchyroll website before. I might make one in the future, but I'm not sure exactly how I feel about the whole thing since it's upsetting that right stuff is basically no more for the sake of having less competition for Crunchyroll. So not 100% into that, but let me know in the comments if you're gonna go ahead and make a purchase on Crunchyroll to see how the experience goes, or if you're planning on going somewhere else for your manga. 
I'm currently not in a rush to find another place to buy manga online since I got so much manga in this haul and I have a lot to read before I can really think about purchasing more physical manga, so I'll just concern myself with that later. Okay, so here I have 11 different volumes. Um, some are from the same series, but I've got multiple series here. So let's see, I'm gonna pull these ones out first. Okay, so the camera cut off for a bit, but I got volume six of What Did You Eat Yesterday? I noticed that this has like some green scuffs on it. I'm not really sure where that came from. Um, that's a bit of a bummer, but oh well, I'm not really sure how that happened exactly. Um, but I'm excited to keep reading this series. This is one of my favorite series that I have recently talked about on my reading log. You should definitely check it out if it seems like your type of thing. Um, oh, and okay, I think this is the culprit of why volume six has green on it because it was probably, yeah, it was up against this one and that made it green, so. Mystery solved. Um, I got volume eight. I also got volume five. I really love this cover. This cover is so cute. I love that it's like faintly pink. And I just realized that underneath the what did you eat yesterday, like the shadow, it's like slightly rainbow. It's like red, yellow, green. That's nice. That's a really nice little detail. All right, and this is the last what did you eat yesterday volume I got. This one is volume seven. So I got volumes five, through eight. And I really love this cover too. This cover is so nice. I love the darker color. Um, also, you can see like that the characters are starting to age a little bit because compared to like volume five, you can see that their hair has more color. So like they're getting older, but they're still together and that's so cute. So I'm very excited to keep reading this series. Okay, and up next, this one looks like Yokohama. Yep, Yokohama Kaidashi Kiko. Um, this one also has like some smudging. That might be because it was next to the um, brown volume of What Did You Eat Yesterday? So those, those volumes seem to spread color a little bit too much, but this persimmon is so, it looks so good. I love persimmons. It's, I think it's gonna be persimmon season soon, or I don't really know, but I know that they're around in the fall. But I got volume three of Yokohama Kaidashi Kiko, and this is a series that is so good. It's a slice of life series that has some sci-fi elements, and it's about this android who is just navigating life and making friends and making memories, and it's great. So this is volume nine, and Witch Hat Atelier always has like the most gorgeous covers. And that's because this artist also did like covers for like DC comics and Marvel comics, I believe. They like really have an impressive resume, so it's no surprise that their covers and their art is just gorgeous. So we've got volume 11. This one came out, I believe, October 3rd. Um, this one is so gorgeous. I love the purples. And this character, I really love this character. At first I thought they were a little bit annoying, but they've really grown on me and I think they're just gonna keep developing into a great character. All right, and I got volume eight. This is also another great cover. It's giving me Peter Pan. You know, it's, it's really nice. I love this kind of color of green. And this volume, this volume 10 is so gorgeous. And actually, I also noticed that a lot of these, a lot of these manga volumes have that like little symbol. Like, so it looks like all of these have won awards. So very excited to read that series. I didn't need any more convincing, but very, very looking forward to that. Okay, so we have two more volumes and one is a new series. So I'll save that one for last. Um, this one is a series I'm continuing. This one is Shonen Note. And wow, this like this volume feels like hefty. I love when volumes are chunky, like chunky and floppy. That's my favorite type of book. And this cover is so gorgeous. The usage of colors is just so nice. And I love how there's this like, there's so much of a space theme, outer space theme in this series if you've read it. 
you would notice it um, because it's so like in your face, but it's so wonderful. Um, it ties in perfectly with how like the protagonist is feeling. Like being a young kid that is just trying to figure out like where they belong and like how to use their voice. It makes sense that they use outer space as this like theme that they keep coming back to. This is one that I think I'm just gonna read immediately after I finish filming. So this last one is actually not a manga, it's a manhwa. Um, this is my first ever manhwa and it's called The Restorer's Home. I got this one because it seemed like a perfect read for October. It's got um, a character who can see spirits associated with objects and he can tell like when the spirit of an object needs help basically and he will restore the object so then the spirit that's attached is happier. And I just think that's so sweet. I'm just also excited to read something that is about a res someone who does restorations because that just seems like such a relaxing thing to read about. Um, so very excited for this. And you can see there's some color there, color page. I love when the color pages are not on glossy paper, but just like the regular paper. It looks so good. So yeah, I'm very excited to read this one. I keep saying that. I mean, I really am excited to read everything that I got. Otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. <laughs> but yeah, you can see here, there's like that little spirit that he can see inside what appears to be a bowl and like other spirits just all around. Yeah, this one is definitely gonna be one that I read soon. And that's it for this manga haul. Um, I will be showing all the volumes I got in the next clip. And here is all of my haul on my TBR cart. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments which series was your favorite that I picked up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.